All right, I just thought I'd come on here and show this, um, just in case anyone's interested. Nice drum beat there. Da, da, da. Just a sec. Uh, what am I doing? And oh, look at that! Blender game engine is reacting to real-time audio input. The amp the uh, amplitude of the sound is scaling the plane in the game engine. Um, and of course, whether it's a sound file or my voice. It's you know it, it reacts to real time audio input one two one okay um, that's it that's as exciting as this video is going to get for anyone um, Blender users shouldn't really get excited about it at all because I haven't written some magical script that means that Blender can uh, Blender can react to real time audio input it's Max MSP here that's doing all of that which is designed you know this is designed to do that it's just sending out numbers into Blender via UDP ports. A UV people. Um, I can probably I can make this. I'm pretty sure Max MSP. Yeah, you can make Max MSP patches standalone, um, like applications. Um, but any person who uses it has to have Max run Max MSP runtime, which is free. But it's you know it takes up quite a few meg on your disk, and um, you know it'd be quite a lot just to have a little patch like this running. I mean I suppose I could tart it up, give it a load more functions. Um, if anyone really was interested in the idea of getting uh, any Blender user um, who wanted to use it for use Blender for like interactive like audio visual art or something like that and didn't want to buy Max MSP, I suppose I could do that. Um, I'll see if anyone's interested. But um, yeah Max MSP users might be interested in the fact that you can get complicated Interactive 3D graphics um, in Blender reacting to sound and the amplitude, or for example, the frequency content of the sound, like a high pitched sound. You know, you can use that Max MSP to interpret that kind of thing. So, a high pitched sound might trigger a certain graphical effect in Blender or MIDI. Um, just as an example, that, um, you know, like maybe a kick drum might be triggering like a little flashing beam like that or something. That's what I'm thinking of, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, I should also just mention, of course, that Max MSP does come with um, Jitter, obviously, which does um, like pixel-based um, video and photo editing, image editing. Um, I think it's pixel-based anyway. That's as far as I could. Um, that's as far as I could figure it. Um, and obviously, there's those new set of things that have just come out. What are they called? Um, is it Vibo or something like that? Oh, I can't remember. But anyway, they obviously, I think they're just based on Jitter. They're just using Jitter objects and making it a bit more user-friendly. But um, there is also DIPS, which for in, within Max MSP, it's a set of Max MSP objects that do um, 3D interactive graphics. But it's all, um, it's a bit, a bit more primitive but it's a lot easier to do something like to put a video as a texture than it is in the blender game engine um, and to mess about with video textures and things like that uh, the blender game engine would be better for a max msp user who wants to make 3d graphics that are um, have things like complicated mesh deformations like in my last video i was showing the finger the bending of the finger um, based on a number that's sent out a max MSP um, yeah in real time that wasn't that that couldn't be just a, a pre-rendered video because the hand was spinning around or whatever um, yeah okay so that is all goodbye <laughs>